Can you dig it? <laughs> hey, good morning. Ragnar Rocks coming to you Seahurst Park in lovely Burien, Washington. We're going to look for some agates today. The spot was suggested to me by uh, another YouTuber, The Gradier Travels and Adventures. He's uh, found some pretty good, uh, pretty good agates and pet wood here, so uh, let's do our best. Got the fanny pack. Ready to go. Got some fishing boats out there today. Up ahead, pretty sure I see a great blue heron. Let's go see if we could uh, get closer. He spotted me. There's a seal out there. I think it's a seal. He's okay. See one of his friends down there though. Teeny tiny Dungeness crab shell. Hoping to get some crabby done this uh, summer. They are delicious. The best crab you could get right there. That's a really cool piece of jasper. Keep that one. Jeez, that's got some cool colors, a lot of fractures. Cool uh, material here. I go a lot slower on the way back. No trespassing, private property. I don't know if it's the same with every state, but I must say it's quite frustrating for people to claim ownership of 
public water access. Look at that heron go. Awesome. I think everybody has the right to access the water, not just the rich. Just my two cents. But get right up to the line. Turn it around. Head back north. Go real slow. I'm gonna find some maggots today, I know it. I like to think the crows are the heron's henchmen. They do all the dirty work. Oh, I've got a sliver of sunshine here, folks. Look at that. Rare sight. That's a cool piece of kelp. In red. Christmas kelp. like a lavender shade to it. That's pretty. That would polish up really nice. Oh, do you see the uh, the duck with all the little babies over there? Right in front of the sailboat. Teeny tiny little babies. Wow, might actually keep that one. That one is... Super transparent. I have so much of this stuff. One day I'll do a whole tumbler load. Tum uh, tumbler load. Look really cool. Into the fanny pack. Boop. We should have brought my coffee. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to strap like a drink holder to this fanny pack. I think it's doable. Whoa! Boy, that one would look super cool cut. It's almost got like a smoky quartz going on in there. I might keep that one. Oh man. This reminds me of a uh, galaxy stone. But pretty sure it's just concrete. Yep. Oh. Pretty cool color right there. I'm gonna keep it. Yeah. It's got a really cool stripe on it. I call that a wishing stone. It's cool.
be awesome. We hit this spot at a good time. Tide's going out. It's perfect. I think low tide is right around noon. A little after nine now. That's cool. A little sandy in there. It's a great spot to swim. Aaron's still fishing, didn't go. Pretty cool. It's like a fake petrified wood. I don't think that actually is petrified wood. It's neat though. Uh, probably basalt quartz on top quartz hat spice are more are more people out here All right, henchmen, I mean, no harm. That is a ghetto crow right there, man. It's all tore up, old man crow. See something off in the distance, a flash of green. Could that be? Could that be Wes Allard, Chris Helseth, creators of Ragnar, founders of Last Bastion Studios? Go find out. Only one guy I know would be staring at the ground in the distance and picking up something from it. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't be me. You know what the funniest Morning. thing of all is? Nice fanny Morning. packs. Yeah, man. Awesome belt buckle. Dude. Here's the best thing of all. Sick. That comic shop we've been telling you about, a minute and a half that way. Awesome. It's are on they that open? It's bomb. 10, 10 a.m. they are. Oh, man. I might have to swing by <laughs> oh there. I, I watched your interview this morning. Yeah. That was fantastic. Yeah, nice. Let's check it out. Oh, I just like that green color. Yeah, not sure. It is pretty cool green, though. Yeah, you see a lot of this material here. It's probably just some kind of metamorphic rock, like mm -hmm. just super, super layered. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool though. Neat. Just about anything could polish up. I found a couple good ones this morning yeah. so far. Look at this baby. Whoa, you could it's almost, got some character to yeah, it. Yeah, you could almost see right into it. Mm -hmm. There's like little plumes, mm -hmm. see that? Yeah. So if you slice that and polish it up, it'll probably be almost completely transparent. Wow, okay. So that's a nice one. Um, we're definitely looking for agates, and when I find one, I will show you uh, what that looks like. Okay, cool. It's kind of hard to explain a little bit. They got a little glow to them. All right. Most of them are like a whitish, a whitish yellow. If we get oh, lucky, we'll white find yellow. one with bands. Yeah. That one's got barnacles on it. Yeah, it does. Look at that. That's pretty cool. It's a modern day fossil. Goodbye. We definitely <laughs> found a jellyfish quartz nearby. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Saw some pretty cool like red and green kelp. Tide's going out now, so we might start we might to see, see some good stuff. Fun yeah. Fun stuff. Maybe actual live crabs. Yeah, do they uh, travel upstream to these these runoffs? Crabs? Yeah. Uh, no, not the crabs we have. The crabs here pretty much go with the tide. Got it. So you're more likely to catch the crab when it tides incoming or outgoing. You okay. catch them like in transition. Um, but most of the time I catch them at like 60 to 90 feet deep. 60 you, to 90 feet deep? Yeah, I usually get the biggest ones. All right, now we're getting some good sun here. So if you spot an egg, it's going to be glowing nice and bright. I, hope I, have the eyes I know it took me forever. It took me probably thousands of hours just watching other people's yeah. YouTube videos, picking it's, up agates. Oh my God. And now all of a sudden I just see them everywhere. It's, it's amazing. Like, Yep, there it is. Yep, there's an agate, there's an agate, there's an agate, there's an agate. You buy, you buy a car and you never see it anywhere on the road and then all of a sudden you see it everywhere. Yeah, same everywhere. thing, for sure, for sure. You see how nice this sand is? I just want yeah, to run out there. Fine. There's a heron. Bye, heron. You ditched your henchmen. Oh, I hear them. They're giving him the signal. Yeah, we're uh, not directly on the ocean, Puget Sound, so it's not quite as cool as being on the actual ocean, but it's still salt water, you know? It's still awesome. It's a, it's it's a, a brick, a red brick that washes up here. Totally, yeah, lots of red brick. Uh, some of the redder stuff is more like a, a jasper. Yeah, so that's a jasper with okay. a nice banding on it. Cool. But uh, you will see chunks of brick. Okay. Definitely. Yeah, back in the day, all these roads here coming in the park, they were all brick, red brick roads. Oh, really? Yeah. Rinse this one off here. So this is what I like to call a fake piece of petrified wood. I was gonna say, is that petrified wood? It's like, oh, I found a piece of petrified wood. Could be, I would say, unlikely. Most of the time with petrified wood, you could actually see mm -hmm. like the holes in the grain, mm -hmm. cracks and stuff. This one, it's pretty much lines all the way around, mm -hmm. pretty even. I don't know. Looks kind of like petrified wood, but most likely not. What's up, seagull buddy? I don't know. Unless you're really gonna do something with it, what does it matter, right? It's yeah. a cool looking rock. <laughs> oh, dude, that's that's a beautiful. Yeah. That's absolutely beautiful. So that's exactly what you're looking this for. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, that's not quite an agate, but man, if you put that in a rock tumbler mm -hmm. or cut it and polished yeah. it, it would just be absolutely gorgeous. Definitely. Yeah, that's a nice yeah. one. That's a keeper. That's super cool. Do you have a specific area of the beach that you like uh, walking on, like closer to the, uh, the shoreline? Or? Um, believe it or not, in most cases, I found my best stuff higher up. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times you go by the size of the rock, right? Mm -hmm. I tend to stick to areas where the rocks are a little bit larger. Mm -hmm. That's where I found my best stuff. Mm -hmm. But you'd be surprised. I mean, you also have to figure areas that people, yeah, that's pretty cool bigger areas that people haven't walked as much mm -hmm. like if the tide's going out like it is yeah. now we got some fresh turn churn material right along mm -hmm. here right along the water so it's always good spots to check plus some stuff it's much easier to tell what it is when it's wet yeah and it looks nicer sometimes you'll load up a bag of these really beautiful rocks and you yeah. get home and they're perfectly dry and they don't yeah. look very good <laughs> Yep, that's quartz. Yep, we have a ton of quartz here. Just that white, like milky color. Look at this crazy blue. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. 
Yeah, I'm not sure what that is. It could be some kind of jasper, maybe, but yeah, that stuff's I'm pretty gonna, cool. Keep on coming up to you. What's this? What's this? What's this? Yeah, that's why it's yeah. fun. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I definitely don't have all the answers. I mean, shit. Like I said before, uh, that's the eye of the beholder right it's yeah. what you think's cool it's not necessarily what everybody else thinks yeah yep that one's well tumbled well tumbled piece of basalt you believe that was probably once like a straight up lava rock with like holes and stuff and it was just just completely tumbled. smoothed out yeah those ones are really good for rock carving mm -hmm. a lot of people get like a dremel yeah. like a rotary tool and then you could just carve really nice stuff in those. Water run over it. Yeah. There was a uh, gentleman out here fishing when I first got here. Didn't see him catch anything, but so I don't know. Just hanging we went out. To that parking lot that's just one thing up. Mm -hmm. And we were there, and I'm like, "Where's the gentleman's car? Maybe we should go look." Because I was like, oh, "I don't have any reception sitting in this one little area." Yep. Yeah, I almost parked at that first parking lot. I'm looking at the map. I'm like, that's awfully far from the water. I better drive all the way down to the water first. Yeah. Turn around if I have to, but I scored. Yeah, you got a spot. Yeah, that'd have been wise if I had done that. It's okay. Quick little jaunt. A jaunt. Yep, skipping stones. That was uh, definitely one of my most favorite things when I was a kid. Just find a, find a nice flat one. really looks like petrified wood, but I don't think it is. Is this flat enough to skip? Let's try it. We got one. We got one. <laughs> really should have stretched first. <laughs> yeah, warmed up your shoulders. <laughs> These old bones. Throw them out for the week. In case you're wondering, Ragnar is hanging out with Junior today. Yeah, yeah. They're going to the lake. Nice. Should have a pretty good time. Woo! Three! Three! Nice. That trip that I took down to Cannon Beach, we had done uh, some crab fishing with uh, the big old pages. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, yep. And we would have to. Water all over <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, there it goes. <laughs> and we had to uh, get out the measuring like tool and like measure all of them mm -hmm. and pretty much throw a whole bunch of bags. That's awesome. So you were on a big, pretty good sized boat then, like no, a forty no, no, footer. No boat. Like we would go to like these bridges that. Oh were like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Were they tributaries? Like just yeah. the tributaries and sure. throw them in. Awesome. Them. Maybe come back in a couple hours or the next day. Yeah, that's so much easier than going out in a boat. That's so like quartz mashed with something else. Yeah, that's like a granite. There's probably like a big old chunk of like, or not granite, basalt, with like a vein in it, and it just ah. eventually just eroded off. Okay. Now is basalt harder than quartz? Uh, no, it's softer. So ah. basalt usually wears It'll away. It'll wear away first. Yeah, so when you find agates, they're formed usually in basalt, like a okay. pocket. So yeah. they have just worn completely out of the basalt so would, would altogether. this be basalt? And that's like the formation of... No, this is more like a quartz, like this a quartzite. Quartz? Yeah, okay. mostly quartz. You can see that white in there. so rough. Yeah, some are like that. It's pretty hmm. weird. 
Now. Yeah, definitely. But the way we get crab here, like I said, you go in a 60 to 90 feet of water. Mm -hmm. So usually I'll be on my kayak and I'll have the pots stacked up between my legs. Uh -huh. So I'll go out there and I'll drop one and I just have to keep holding the rope just mm -hmm. to make sure that it doesn't sink my buoy mm -hmm. completely under, you know? It's very, very uh, stressful pulling them up, I tell you, out of yeah. a kayak. It is uh, it's pretty gnarly, but worth it. Absolutely worth Dude, it, even if you get one or two. When I was uh, on the boat, we threw, um, we caught a bunch of crabs and we threw them in our little like bait tank. We turned around and oh. then we turned back and they're just shredded. Everything yes. inside the tank was shredded. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I remember you telling me about that. That's fucking hilarious, man. The crabs killed everything. Killed everything. And it was, and it was hilarious because they like ripped it apart and ate it, and so everything, so it was just scales. <laughs> <in the tank. laughs> it was so weird. Did you guys ever do any shrimping? No. We no. Don't do any shrimping. The only thing about shrimping, usually you got to go down a couple hundred feet with like a a little like well, basket deal. That's cool. Look at this weird conglomerate rock. It's got like a bunch of different Whoa, little colors cool. like inside of it. It almost looks like it could have been uh, like brick and then got compressed with a whole bunch of other stuff. Totally. And you also do find legitimate concrete out here. Oh yeah. <laughs> and you're like, oh, this looks cool. Well, that's concrete. <laughs> it was cool. I think I might keep that one. And it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. How like some rocks break apart faster than others mm -hmm. just based on like their hardness. Like these, like all the stripes in there. Yeah, it's That's pretty so neat. Cool. What's this? Is this? That is uh, mostly quartz, the white. Mm -hmm. And this is like quartz? Yep, that's quartz also. Not sure exactly what the black could be, probably mostly basalt, but uh, yeah, you see those stripies mm -hmm. a lot. They're super cool. And I think they call ones with a stripe. Well, this one's almost got it. Stripe all the way around. They call these just wishing stones. Mm -hmm. A lot of people collect them. This one's pretty cool. It's got a nice little quartz vein on it. Rocks. Rocks are fun. They are fun. They don't cost you anything. Yeah. In most cases. Just time. Yeah. Just time. Unless you're Kyle of World of Rock Hounds, then it costs you everything. <laughs> it cost me my life. This one's pretty cool. It's got a super clear, almost like an agate mm -hmm. type material right on the top. It's got cool stripes. Oh, yeah. It's been compressed over time. Yeah. It's got like a All little layer. Layers. Pretty rad. Go keep it. Ooh, forget what I said about that glass. I might pick that up. Don't want to be stepping on that bare feet. Take your kids out here and next thing you know, you're going to the ER with a fish hook in their finger and glass in their foot. Find something good? Whoa, that's weird, man. I don't know what that is. Let's see what this looks like here. Oh, you know what? So this is like heavily fractured basalt and it looks in this hole, there could have been like an agate mm -hmm. that Just eroded out, out of there. that hole. Yeah. That looks like a Shit, like a broken shell or like yeah that's cool keep it this one yeah it's amazing what you find i mean you could just come here every day and find completely different stuff over and over and we probably have i don't know 40 of these public beach access areas within 20 miles Wow, the tide is really going out fast now.
clamshell. This is a rock crab shell, I believe. Red rock crab. I don't think there's a limit on these guys. We might get lucky and see some live clams. Live clam? All of a sudden, you know, water stream will just shoot out of the sand. Just straight up. Get out of here. Yep. Get off my lawn. Almost like a little heart. Oh man. Yep. All right, it's tiny, but I found one, guys. Yep, definitely got a little banding in there. What do your hair eyes see? A little agate. Oh, that's cool. Which is uh, nice. calcidney is the mineral there. Almost perfectly translucent. Looks like a, a molar, like a tooth. Definitely. But yeah, this could have been in that little cavity of that rock that you had. Let's see if it fits. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That'd be crazy if it did. Like the mm. same size. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> we found the missing piece. You're the chosen one. <laughs> well, it's got to stay with it then. No, no, yep. no, 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 no. It's got to stay with it. Okay. Now you have your first. You have your first agate. Washington State beach agate. And it's thrown. <laughs> you have the holding stone. Yes. The ritual will be completed at last we have the holy stone. <laughs> Are you the gatekeeper? I'm the key master. <laughs> if you look over yonder, they're building my new home. Oh yeah? They're really taking their sweet time too. Is that your new home? <laughs> yeah, I wish. How cool would that be? <laughs> Grabbing my quartz, man. I will take all the quartz. Ooh, ooh, yeah. ooh. All right, I found something pretty cool, guys. They call these guys carnelians. That red, Whoa, red glow. that is cool. This one's the what? Carnelian? Carnelian, yep. Jesus, that's kind of the cornelian. Yep, it's also quartz, but just a cooler looking it's quartz. royal quartz. Yeah. Yeah. Now, is it like a different kind of mineral that ends up in there, like giving it that color? Or I want to say probably iron, if I had to guess. Iron oxide? Or yeah, what? iron tends to turn things like a brown to a red. Mm -hmm. Definitely. But yeah, these are pretty. That is pretty. Yeah, take what I could get today. Or sometimes you go home and you wash it off and turn out it's just algae. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> It's just regular quartz. Yeah. Damn. This is legit. It's like a little jelly bean. Don't eat it. Nope. Might damage your tooth. Well. Ooh. False alarm. So there is a place in Arizona where like whenever I'm driving towards the like right across the uh, California Arizona border. There's a place called Quartzite. Like, that's yeah. the name of it. Yes. Yep. So I'm imagining tons of quartz. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of great rock hunting places in that region, man. Really good places. Um, a lot of areas to find obsidian.
lots of jasper. All right. I think he's dead. He's a goner. Oh, poor little fella. Sorry, buddy. He's just a boy. Just a baby boy. The boy didn't live. <laughs> the boy didn't live. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the sweet moon snail. It's really cool. Good looking hole shell. Leave that right there for somebody. The tide's really going out now. Part of a crab. Boy, that one is really smooth. We can unpack it when the sun isn't so. Boy, look at that shell. That's one of the coolest shells I've ever seen. That's a cool clam. Wow. I'm going to save uh, your child's foot here. Oh, definitely. That's how those logs got there, right? Yeah, for sure. So it makes me think like, yeah. things definitely get rough in the winter here. I can see that. Yeah, Washington beaches in the winter are are, uh, are pretty violent. how cool this clam shell is man it's like black and white oh nice i saw i found a bigger one at least i'll get it and everything I was like yep bird got a hold of that sucker oh yeah Toss the new thing. it's really cool i think i'm gonna actually keep that one this is my standout piece hey look quartz beauty <laughs> I tell you what, man, I'm sure loving these uh, fanny packs. Dude, it's pretty helpful. I'm so <laughs> most time I either have like a bag and Ragnar or I'm just jamming my pockets full. Yeah. There've been many occasions where I just use a glove, right? I'm wearing gloves and, and then just I just start the tucking fingers. them into the gloves. Yeah. I love cords. <laughs> well, apparently I love cords too. That's all I find. Yeah, next time uh, you guys come up, if you want, we could, uh, if we have a little bit more time, we'll go up into the mountain. I found one more Man. crystalline. Beautiful. Ooh, this one's good. almost a carnelian. Uh -huh. Orange. But yeah, we'll go up in the mountains and we'll find some quartz crystal points. Which would be really rad. That would be cool. Because those don't really require any finishing, polishing, nothing. They're, they're good to go, man. Right out of the ground. Sometimes a little iron out, maybe, to get the staining off, but pretty sweet. Plus, we could go by the legendary filming locations for Twin Peaks. Ah, nice. Yeah. I believe they have a restaurant, maybe a hotel, Twin Peaks.
motel, I think. So I've definitely seen that there is like the Washington version of Hooters called Twin Peaks. Mm-hmm. Yep. I I was <laughs> I was confused at first until I looked into it. I'm like, is this a is this a restaurant based off the show? It, yeah. Wait. Do they do they just serve cherry pie? <laughs> This teeny tiny little guy. Oh, I broke it. Baby Dungeness. Granted, the uh, speckled gray black, black thing, yeah? Yep, yep. They come in black and white and pink, all speckly. Popular choice for countertops. Now, this is what I call nightmare beach fishing, right? <laughs> You go to reel it in and you got like a basketball drag. size yeah, thing of kelp. Yeah, horrible. So to counter that, that's why you have waders and you just wade out in there and just... Yep, exactly right. Check it out in Osprey. See a lot of those in bald eagles. Oh, it's going down. Oh! That was... <laughs> oh, he got it, I think. Yeah. Did he? I think so, yeah. Oh. He does have it. That was actually really dope. You see how he was <laughs> aiming at the last point? <laughs> and went down into the water. Like he's, get that over land, sucker. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to lose it. I may be wrong, but I think those, like, falcons have a special eyelid so right before they hit the water it they close their eyelid on. yeah oh, wow. yeah like alligators yeah more clams clams are squirting up here looks like we might be able to see some cool tide pole action oh really Boy, that's a really pretty piece of jasper. Got like a yellow orange faded and a bright red. There's quartz in there, that's cool. I'm gonna keep that one. It's jasper, summer of jasper indeed. Just never ends. Boy, that's pretty. Wow. Keeping it. Alright, looks like I'm getting in this better material. Teeny tiny, almost carnelian. Yeah, so one thing a lot of people do, especially in Montana, like on the Yellowstone, they bring a squirt bottle. Just to, yeah, to wet to wet it and to see what it is, yeah. See if it's worth bringing home to polish. Some people like to lick rocks, but I don't recommend licking these ones for sure. how the 
sound travels over the water. Oh yeah. Right. Yeah, like when I'm out fishing, you start having a casual conversation and uh, then you realize that that other boat, like a mile and a half that way, could hear you like perfectly. Check this out, man. That is wild. That red and the green. Mm -hmm. I wonder what that red is. It's probably some kind one? of iron or maybe a jasper it. Licious. Yeah, wow. It's got some character to it. Yeah, if I wasn't too worried about it like fracturing up, it might go look good in the tumbler. Sometimes with some of these rocks, especially like really fractured quartz, put them in there and they just blow apart. Right yeah. And you open your uh, barrel lid, and it's just all like pieces, like less than a marble size. <laughs> Damn it! I hate that. <laughs> He's like, look out, look out. I'm here, first dibs. I'm feeling pretty good. You guys want to go get uh, something to eat, maybe a drink? Yeah, sure. A little beverage? Okay. Found some good stuff today, guys. It's yeah, awesome. Dev, dev. We can show you a comic shop. Yeah. That sounds beautiful. Dude, thanks for taking us out, man. Yeah, you're welcome. Thanks, thanks for coming. Just like being able to have like no distraction. Like it's a simple purpose of just like, oh, we're gonna look at rocks today. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna look at rocks. I love it, right? And like walk around and just enjoy. Mm-hmm. And like I didn't short of point out my phone to like take pictures of stuff. Like I'm not looking at my phone. Just yeah. I know, I know, it's awesome, man. That's what that's what rock counting is all about. Just getting out there, enjoying nature, sunshine, mm. weather, yeah. the wildlife. Sweet, well, I love I'm it. I'm glad that uh, that I was like, no, dude, you don't understand. You gotta, you just gotta come and see. Yeah. And you're like, all right. All right. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, and because yeah, you've done this, it. you'll uh, you'll talk to somebody or you'll see something randomly. You'll be like. Oh, you're into rocks too? And then start talking about it. The next thing you know, you're invited to like super top secret like dig spots where you're finding like ultra rare minerals. And then you start putting them on your shelf and then you realize your whole shelf's full. And then yeah. you gotta get another shelf. And then like you said, you start buying rock tumblers. And then the next thing you know, you buy a tile saw. And like you're just full on into it. I'm like, how did this happen? Yeah. <laughs> How did this happen? Yeah, funny, like, I've but, got thousands of comic books under my bed that explain dude, exactly how that happened. For sure. For sure. So many toys that revolve around that same thing. Like, mm -hmm. like for a good portion of like my my teens and late twenties, I mean early twenties, it was just like Oh, okay, cool. Like toys, alright, cool. I used to play with those when I was a little kid. Mm -hmm. Granted, I was a fanatic when I was a little kid, but then life happened. 
Definitely. And then as soon as like I was like, oh, I'll I'll buy this one figure, and then mm -hmm. I was like, oh no, this is uh oh, and then I just started buying more and more, yes. and then when I started sculpting more and drawing and creating more, it was like, oh my god, this is awesome. Yes. What got me back into it was by far Star Wars Episode One. Yeah. Right. I was uh, right out of high school. I think I was 19. Star Wars Episode One came out, and I was in line at Toys R Us at midnight to get these toys. The new figures. Yeah. You know, I paid I don't know roughly four or five bucks per figure plus a bunch of uh, vehicles and stuff. And hey, guess how much they're worth now? Nothing. Four or five bucks a figure, yeah. roughly. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's because all of a sudden they figured out the the like game of collectors. And so they just started releasing stupid amount, like just flooding the market. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. To the point where it was like, you know, nobody's gonna buy all 500 of these fucking figures. Yeah, mm -mm. They, there's a period of time in like the, the 80s and 90s where they were doing a special release exclusive for every single character. Mm -hmm. So at the point where it was like, it was maybe one it's a year. It's all special, so nothing is special. Yeah, it's all special, so like, not, like okay, a collector's coin, cool. But mm -hmm. all of them have collector's coins. It's like, yep. I don't give... I, ah. Yeah, the real, the real edge, I think, with uh, pretty much all collectibles, right, is numbering them. Yes. Right? Numbering them makes it so that there, there what, is just one that's of that. That's what we do with the, the painted versions of Ragnar. Yep, where, yep. you know, once I do an edition size, or a colorway, like I'm never doing that again. Yeah, definitely. So that way, like, makes them way more collectible. 